Now Mr. Lover Lover She call me Mr. Bombastic Tell me fantastic Touch me on me box She says I'm uh, Mr. Ro Romantic Call me fantastic Touch me on me box She says I'm uh, Mr. Ro Smooth Okay, a couple of announcements before we actually get into the video Number one, um, I'm a Pokemosh Pit recruit, if you don't already know, and I submitted to the Pokemosh Pit, so I may get on main, may not, depends on my um, performance on there, so if you haven't already seen that video, you should go check it out. Number two, hello to my new subscribers, I think approximately 30, 35 of you came from Mosh Pit, so hello, thank you for subscribing, and I hope to continue to entertain you. And number three, I hope... That you can't hear that in the background says so some Muppet is freaking playing music when I'm trying to narrate. Always when I'm narrating, Jesus Christ. And lastly number four, almost Christmas, it's the second of December. Hey. I wonder what what yeah, I might as well do a cold question of the day since that seems to be the hip new thing these days. What are you doing for Christmas? Anyway, with that out of the way. Walk one, people. It is I, Sour Bouse. And I've got an OU match against Deadpool. His link will be down below. And let's look at the team preview real quick, shall we? Now, I've got this Hell team and he has a Sun team. So, automatically, I know it's going to be a weather war. So, big threats right now is that Exodrill. So, for the time being, as, as long as that Exodrill is still alive, Skarmory is going to be pretty much the MVP of the game. So, I need to keep him for alive as long as possible. But really, it's just a matter of getting up some toxic spikes to wear down that jellicent since it'll be problematic, since it could be a stall break or a taunt. And then also t -tar. I'd rather have t poison instead of toxic, as it wouldn't be staying in for that long, but... Whatever, it doesn't really matter too much. Either way, I just need to get up my entry hazards with Skarmory and Blissey. And thinking about Hariyama will also be very helpful, seeing as he's got how many steel types and a rock type. As for late game, also Renekalus probably be the calm mindset, I'm hoping. And also make, just to make sure that Lattice will stay alive, as it does have calm mind raw. So for possible leads, probably the T-Tar, possibly, or the Ferrothorn. But just to start off with, I'm going to start off Tentacle, just to get those Toxic Spikes up as quickly as possible. So, yeah. Without further ado, <laughs> let's get on with the show. So I am going to lead off with Tentacruel, he does decide to lead off with his T-Tar, just to set up the sand, straight off the bat. So what I'm going to do right now, as I've previously stated, I am going to lay out my first layer of Toxic Spikes, just to scout out what this thing will do. As he does go for Stone Edge, I thought this would be more of a support set, but there are about four Pokemon on his team that can lay out Stealth Rock, so nothing to be freaked out about basically. But he switched out into Ferrothorn, which is kind of strange, since... I'm guessing he was predicting the school, but I'm just going to lay out my second layer of Toxic Spikes, which is fine. And I'm going to switch out since I see this is a perfect opportunity to lay out my Spikes, but he goes for a Thunder Wave on my Skullmary. Which I don't mind too much, but walling that Exodrill would be now even more problematic, seeing as he does have the Rock Slide, and he could possibly flinch hacks me to death. But regardless, he's going to switch on to Jellicent, get poisoned. I'm guessing he wants to go for the Taunt, but he goes for the Surf, which is a decent move, but... I'm just going to keep laying out my, my spikes as I get my second layer up as I'm going to switch out into my Blissey just to lay out my self rocks. Seeing as these surfs are doing quite a bit of damage to me since it looks like a free hit KO from that range. As well as I need to keep Skarmory to as good as health as possible with the Exodrill still in the back of my mind. But as I said before, Blissey comes in, he's getting worn down by the um, toxic damage fairly quickly so I know he's probably just going to switch out right now. As I'm going to lay out my Stealth Rocks as he does switch out into his T-Tar and takes a hefty amount from Spikes and does get toxic, which is fun and dandy for me since now I've gone the um, upper hand thing as this thing is going to start being worn down. But right now I am going to switch out into my Skarmory predicting the Stealth Rocks. So because he does have the Stealth Rocks, which he does go for, and I have seen Stone Edge, that means gives me thinking that he is purely physical. So... I'm going to just roost off the damage right here and now as he does confirm that as he goes for the stone edge or they just predicts my switch since I am thinking his moveset is stealth rock, stone edge, pursuit crunch or superpower but not fire blast. 
Either way, I'll time out to a reasonable amount of health and the toxic damage is starting to rack up. So I'm going to predict his switch into either his Heatran as I'm going to go for Whirlwind. He switched out into his Ferroform, which doesn't really matter. I predicted some sort of switch, which is fine, as I Whirlwind him out into his Runiculus. Now here, because Skarmory is very important, I know he's going to probably go for the Calm Mind and not attack me with the Focus Miss or Focus Blast. So I'm going to predict that and go for the Whirlwind once again. Thankfully I do whirlwind him out into his T-Tar so he takes two layers of spikes, stealth rock and because of the toxic damage the leftovers will be negated so I'm looking at a very comfortable position as my sturdy is now back intact so if he does have fire blast I'm not fearing it at all as I will not die and he can't get the haxy burn since I'm already paralysed so I'm free to lay out my last layer of spikes and toxic is now starting to rack up once again. So here I'm just going to roost off as he does switch out into his Heatran. I had a feeling he might have done that but I want to, again, Exit Drill is still at the back of my mind and I'm not taking any chances so I'm going to switch out into my Blissey as he does predict that very nicely and switch out into his Exit Drill who is on the balloon so he's not life orb so that's good scouting initiative. No sorry I switched out to my Metroid, what am I doing? Tentacruel. So here I know he's going to predict me to switch out into my Skarmory which is why I'm going to go for the Skull just to break his balloon and get a hefty amount of damage. Unfortunately I don't get a burn, 30% accuracy, yeah, 30% burn rate, what can you do? That's a random number generator for you but regardless it's still fine as I'm going to predict him to go for the Earthquake but he makes a good move and goes for the Rock Slide as right here it's kind of crunch time, can I get through the flinch and the paralysis and yes I do amazingly Skarmory you are doing absolute work this time since now because of the scald damage the Exodrill will not be able to come back in later on so that thing is good as dead and Skarmory has completely done his job so he can rest easy now as I'm going to be taken out by the Surf on the Jellicent. So Exodrill is good as dead seeing as he does have a spinner and t is completely worn down right now, he's only got one more switch in left so I'm going to switch into my Bomber Snow, takes some Stealth Rock damage unfortunately, I wish I could spin those away beforehand but not really an issue right now, go for the Choice Scarf Woodhammer as easy knock out that thing at that amount of HP. As he goes into his Heatran, I'm predicting the obvious fire move so I'm going to switch out into my Tentacle but oddly enough he goes for the Explosion which I have not seen since Gen 4 since it got, as you all know or I hope you know anyway. Gen 4, uh, Gen 5 explosion got nerfed, so it cannot. It doesn't have the opponent's defenses, so. But yeah. Runic is gonna come in thinking that he could start to set up on me, as I'm gonna go for the rapid spin, I believe. But now, since I'm not gonna get a chance later, but now I'm going to switch out into my Latias, and as I said before in the beginning of this narration, the sh MVPs of the matches will be shift quite quickly. It was going to be Skarmory at the beginning as long as Exodrill is but now it's going to be the Latia since without it I won't be able to KO that Reuniclus as I've got to just raw it out into the Ferrothorn. Fortunately for me he did show me Thunderwave earlier on in the match so and I can't have Latias paralysed at all if I want to have any hopes of winning this so I'm going to switch on to my Blissey, he does have Natural Cure and a flamethrower if you don't already know for the new guys that are here. I do have pack flamethrower on this thing since it does have enough speed to outspeed a sizzle and enough special attack to oko sizzle if stealth rock damage is added up on it. But again I'm going to switch out into my Latias as he tries to set up once again. So he's really trying to um, get some momentum back but it's, that's not the case as long as Latias is still alive and plus also he has a Psychic so if he had Psy Shock it may have been a bit more problematic but that's not the case as I just got to roar him out once again gets roared out into his T-Tar because T-Tar dies from the entry hazards first Sandstorm will not activate so my hill is free to stay yeah but he switched out into his Exodrill and surprisingly he didn't, does not die from the entry hazards so <laughs> that, was a bit, that was a bit scary but it's fine, I've still got Tentacruel in the wings as Death Order as we're just going to be both taken out by the hail. On this double down I will predict him to go into his Runiculus once again just going to recover off all that collateral damage as it is pretty much a good game unless he gets a crit with the sidekicks 
I've got this in the bag as he does still have the third fawn alive which I can roll out as soon as I get to plus three as plus three will to echo a runiclus regardless if it gets a calm mind on my first dragon pulse as the first one does 61 percent the next one if he has plus one special defense will do 41 percent so easy oko easy to echo regardless so good game there Deadpool check him out as link will be down below and yeah like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the other side.